And how to quantify measurement uncertainty? First, basic statistical calculation as explained in the Eurochem guideline. You should increase the amount of information you get during the measurement and that will be by repeating the analysis different times. You will make replicate analysis. And according to Eurochem guideline from 6 to 10 replicates are sufficient to get information about the variation between result or standard deviation. And after that, after you will make replicate analysis, you will calculate the amount of variation between these replicates, which is the standard deviation. And you, as you know that results should be closed to the true value. All results of the replicates should be closed to the reference value or true value to be accurate. If the result, if, if all results were far from the true value, that means the standard deviation also will be high and that means the results are not accurate but if the results are closed we're close to the true value that means the standard deviation will be very low and the accuracy of results and they will be very high and measurement uncertainty also will be very low and to quantify measurement uncertainty first you shall identify the sources of measurement uncertainty what are the sources in the measurement that may affect on the measurement that may deviate the accuracy of the measurement all of these sources should be identified at the beginning and then you will estimate the size of uncertainty for each source you will estimate the size of uncertainty for each source and then individual you and you will get individual uncertainties or standard uncertainties these individual uncertainties shall be combined together to get overall uncertainty which is the expanded uncertainty and that will be defined after that to estimate the size of uncertainty for each source there are two ways to estimate two ways both of them will be combined together to get the overall uncertainty combined uncertainty then expanded uncertainty these two ways are type a evaluation and type b evaluation first type a evaluation and from type a evaluation you will get the highest value and that will be by replicate analysis replicate analysis for samples spiked with known concentration at different levels these levels will cover the range of concentrations can be measured for the specified analyte in the specified metrics and that explained before in the method validation also for each level you will calculate the standard deviation as example you will select three levels as explained before in the method validation low level 10 microgram per kilogram mid level 50 microgram per kilogram and highest level 200 microgram per kilogram and selection of levels also explained before in the method validation then you will make 6 to 10 replicates for each level and for each level you will calculate the standard deviation and the relative standard deviation which is equal to standard deviation divided by the mean or average multiplied to and after you will calculate the standard deviation you know that the accuracy expressed as explained before in the method validation accuracy expressed in terms of two measures trueness and the precision 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 will be divided into repeatability and reproducibility so uncertainty due to precision will be calculated by repeating the analysis different times at different levels and then you will calculate relative standard deviation for each level relative standard deviation one for low level two for mid level three for high level then you will calculate the pooled relative standard deviation between all of these levels by pooling the variances between all of these levels from this equation n one minus one multiplied to relative standard deviation one for the low level square plus n2 minus 1 
uh, multiplied two radius or, and so on divided by n1 minus one the degree of freedom for the low level degree of freedom for mid level and for the high level then you will calculate the pooled relative standard deviation and pooled relative standard deviation express the uncertainty due to the precision and will be added to the combined uncertainty at End. And to calculate the uncertainty due to bias in the type A evaluation, you know that bias is the measure of trueness. So from trueness, and it's better as I explained before in the method validation to use CRM to, to use CRM and make replicate for this CRM certified reference material because this is true sample and has a certificate with the result of this sample with an acceptance range after addition of measurement uncertainty and also traceability is defined in this certificate. Then you will calculate for this replicate from six to 10 replicates also and better to have 10 replicates. Then you will calculate the standard deviation between all of them and you will calculate the standard uncertainty which is equal to standard standard deviation divided by the square root of n and to clarify this point from type A evaluation you will quantify measurement uncertainty due to precision and due to bias as I explained before that accuracy expressed in terms of two measures precision and bias and the precision expressed in terms of repeatability and reproducibility so for precision you will make replicate analysis for different levels and for each level as example three levels or you can increase the number of levels if you want you will calculate the standard deviation and the relative standard deviation and then you will calculate pooling by the pooled relative standard deviation by pooling the variance between all of these levels and that, that will be the first point first point that will be added to the combined uncertainty that will be considered as a standard uncertainty and will be added to the combined uncertainty and then uncertainty due to bias as i explained before that bias is the measure of trueness and better to use crm to calculate the trueness and to calculate the bias because CRM is a true sample and you will get a certificate with this sample with a result with an acceptance range after addition of measurement uncertainty and the traceability of this sample will be defined so this sample is a rugged sample and then you will calculate 6 to 10 replicates and you will calculate standard deviation and uncertainty or standard uncertainty which is equal to in this case standard deviation divided by square root of n number of replicates then you will calculate relative standard uncertainty relative standard uncertainty equal to standard uncertainty divided by mean recovery for all of these CRM CRM replicates multiplied 200 and that will be the second point will be added to the combined uncertainty you have pooled relative standard uh, deviation and you have relative standard uncertainty these two values will be added to the combined uncertainty so standard uncertainty is the standard deviation of the mean which is equal to standard deviation divided by square root of n and you should know that all contributing uncertainties from all sources shall be at the same confidence level and that can be by converting them to the standard uncertainty standard uncertainty for type a evaluation equal to standard deviation divided by square root of n and for type b evaluation from all sources other than repeatability it will be imported from calibration certificates from all other equipments used during the sample preparation or during the measurement you will get these uncertainties from the calibration certificates of these equipment such as balance or calibrated weights or standards or whatever you use during the sample preparation you can calculate measurement uncertainty from type a evaluation only because during type a evaluation you will make repeatability replicate analysis and you will make sample preparation you make everything and you use all equipments so measurement uncertainty also for these equipments will be considered but also you can use type b evaluation if you want but it will be very low value very low value this type type b evaluation as i explained before imported from calibration certificates for other equipments used during the sample preparation such as balance microbial bed calibrated weights 
or standards or others. But you don't know you will get this equipment after calibration uh, by calibration laboratory, you will get calibration certificates including the measurement uncertainty. But you don't know, you, can, you, you cannot use this measurement uncertainty value added in the certificate as it is because you don't know how they evaluate the measurement uncertainty. So you cannot use measurement uncertainty value from the calibration certificate as it is because the speed of a set of values can take different forms or probability distribution whether normal distribution or triangular or rectangular or other forms or probability distributions. So the speed of a set of values can take different forms or probability distributions from these distributions, normal distribution or Gaussian and like in this graph which characterizes the probability of random quantity in the mean you will have the highest probability of random quantity so you cannot quantify measurement uncertainty at this area and by by decreasing by decre by moving on both sides that probability of random quantity will decrease gradually but will never get will never go to zero so measurement uncertainty cannot be measured at 100 percentage confidence level but confidence level will be increased because probability of random quantity will be decreased from minus one standard deviation up to one standard deviation at coverage factor one you will have confidence level in the in the measurement 68 percentage so you are 68 percentage confident that the result lie in between this range after addition of measurement uncertainty and probability of random quantity will be very high and you will accept a lot of data which are far from the true value so this level cannot be used to quantify measurement uncertainty and from minus two standard deviation up to two standard deviation at coverage factor two confidence level will be increased and the probability of random quantity will be decreased confidence level will be 95 percentage and this is very good confidence level because probability of random quantity only will be five percentage and that's accepted so this level can be used to quantify measurement uncertainty and after that from minus three standard deviation up to three standard deviation at coverage factor three confidence level will be 99 percentage and that's very tight because probability of random quantity is only one percentage or less than even less less than one percentage so you will reject a lot of data which may be accepted or within the acceptable range so it's very it's better it's better to use uh, to quantify measurement uncertainty uh, as i explained before at confidence level 95 percentage so you can assume that measurement uncertainty comes with the calibration certificate for these equipments used during the sample preparation are normally distributed and in this case you will calculate the standard uncertainty also at confidence level 95 percentage coverage factor equal to which is equal to uncertainty from the calibration certificate divided by two and that will be the value that will be added to the combined uncertainty uh, based on the type b evaluation and also you can assume rectangular distribution as example if you have four pipettes and measurement uncertainty from the certificate was plus minus 0.03 but there is no information about the distribution used what is the distribution normal rectangular or triangular or whatever uh, you don't know so you can assume rectangular distribution as in this graph here 10 ml here from a uh, probability against the ml the volume uh, so here 10 ml uh, plus plus 0 0.03 it will be 10 0.03 ml minus 9.97 in this case uncertainty will be equal to standard uncertainty will be equal to uncertainty from the certificate divided by square root of three and in case of triangular if you assume triangular distribution standard uncertainty will be equal to uncertainty from the certificate divided by square root of six again as i said before that you can calculate or quantify measurement uncertainty from 
some type A evaluation only and all of these equipments will be included also in your replicate analysis and if you calculate type B evaluation, you will get a very low value that will be added to the combined uncertainty. All of these standard uncertainties, as I said before, will be combined together to get combined uncertainty. Then combined uncertainty, after you get standard uncertainty from type A evaluation and type B evaluation, individual standard uncertainties calculated from type A and B evaluations and also from sampling, sampling uncertainty will be combined together to get combined uncertainty, which is the root sum of the squares. Uncertainty combined equal to A square plus B square plus C square plus whatever you will get. So pool the relative standard deviation, uncertainty due to precision, uh, relative standard uncertainty, uncertainty due to bias, and also uncertainty due to sampling, and also uncertainty from time B evaluation. Then you will calculate the overall uncertainty or expanded uncertainty that will be added to the final result. Uncertainty which is equal to combined uncertainty multiplied to the coverage factor two because at confidence level 95 percentage you have coverage factor two then you will get the overall uncertainty that will be added to the final result of the measurement and according to iu 17 or 25 2017 edition uncertainty of measurement shall be converted to the unit of the analyte as example in the unit of the analyte 50 in the result came out like it's 50 microgram per kilogram microgram per kilogram plus minus measurement uncertainty 10 percentage so here is a percentage and here microgram per kilogram so you will calculate 10 percentage from the result that you got the final result to be converted to microgram per kilogram it will be equal to 50 microgram per kilogram plus minus 5 microgram per kilogram in the same unit for the analyte at confidence level 95 percentage.